How many ladies just love being a woman? Look at that. I just love being a woman. Like, if reincarnation is real, I want to be a woman. If I had to come back, I'd be a woman. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. It's your girl, Legendary Miss T. And, um... Today, I'm just chilling and vibing. I had a full day today. Let me tell y'all something. My life has become so fucking peaceful. It's like rock and roll, guys. It's like, it's, it's boring. You heard me. But it's peaceful. And let me tell you why it's peaceful. I cut a lot of unnecessary people out of my life. <laughs> man you never know what you got until you let people go so that could mean something that could mean something bad you know and it could also mean something good because people always think when you say sayings that it always got to be meaning something bad but it's a yin and it's a yin and a yay. Yeah, you know, it's like good versus evil, evil versus bad. Like we're gonna always have it. In this dimension, this three the three D dimension we in right now. So look. I like this. And let me tell you why I like this. Because I ain't in no drama. I don't gotta hear a motherfucking Bitch be talking about somebody telling me about this. I don't got to hear a bitch with their man motherfucking problems. You heard me. I don't got to be jumping in people's shit. Like, this is, this is, let me tell you what used to be my problem. I love hard. And if you my friend, you my friend, right? So if you going through something, I'm going to be there for you. But if you going through something I don't like, I'm going to be there for you, but... You know, if you just gonna be stupid, it's gonna aggravate the fuck out of me. And I ain't gonna wanna be your friend. And 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 it's wrong to be like that, right? But I am like that sometimes. I'll be like, just leave a nigga alone, or just leave a bitch alone. You know, but what I have realized that people have to figure their own shit out. You could you could you could you could scream till you red in the face telling a dude you're a good girl. But if he don't get it, he don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I never met a dude that uh, run after, uh, a girl run after a dude, chased him and got him. Not in my lifetime. I never saw it. I never saw it. You know what I'm saying? So it's really about changing your circle and stuff like that. So look, y'all, I'm into tarot. What I always tell y'all, I'm a seer, meaning I see things in dream. That person could be like a prophet. Sometimes they could be a, a, a what they call it, a intuitive person, which I am. I'm that. Um, and there's one more other word that they use. I forgot. But anyway, let's pull a card for the collective today. <laughs> I want to show y'all some of my other gifts. Okay. So. I can read people. I can read energy. People don't know that about me, but I can. Uh, I can tell if your energy good or bad. Uh, I can read you just by staring at you. Uh, I can know when something not right. Now, everybody got these gifts, right? Everybody got these gifts. But you got you got to be in tune, and a lot of people ain't in tune. So the first card that's trying to come out right now is love energy. Look at that. Look at the love energy, y'all. I love that. Whoever out there, you need either you need some more love or it's saying, let love in your life. Okay, maybe I need to let some love in my life. You know, I get so tired of dealing with stupid dudes and stupid niggas and I just be like, I don't got time for that. And I'm not about to be number two, so I'd rather just be by myself. I ain't being number two. I'm too smart of a woman, too intelligent of a woman, too beautiful as a woman, and my sex good. I'm going to be number two. No, indeed. Okay, let's get back to it, y'all. Okay, so boom. Then we got generosity. So somebody is going to be generous to you. Look at the card. Look at the card. Look at the card. We got generosity. 
who's going to be generous or you going to be generous and do something for somebody instead of worrying about yourself. Okay. We going to see. We going to see. We going to see. Okay. Okay. So that's the second card. I'm going to pull five cards just to get y'all a little familiar with me. I am shuffling the cards right now. Let's see. We're going to do... Oh, somebody got a big decision. Somebody got a decision they're going to make. Look at that. Big decision. Let me read the card to you guys. Decision me. You can trust yourself to make decisions that are right for you. If you are still and listen deep down, you will always know. And that's what my intuitive part come at. Especially when I listen to myself. Like today I was uh in my car. And uh, I always like taking little rides to Slidell, or I like going to Gonzalez, or I like going to Laplace, Luxor, even Lafayette, whatever, like, because driving to me is, like, therapeutic. Like, even when I go to Atlanta, sometimes I wouldn't want to get a plane ticket, and I would rather just drive just to, like, sightsee. Like, I don't know why I like that, but yeah, I love it. But somebody's going to have a decision to make, so we're going to do that with the decisions, Okay. With this, with that card. Okay, so let's pull out another card. Oh, somebody about to have a new beginning. Maybe this is my reading. I don't know. It's somebody reading. Somebody out there that's watching this video that wanted a positive message today and a positive word. Boom, you clicked on this video. You got it. So this is going to be the beginning for you, baby. A new beginning for someone. Maybe just came, a download just came in that someone is going to have a baby, an unexpected pregnancy, okay? All right, new beginning. Somebody about to have a big financial breakthrough, okay? Let's read. Let's read the card of beginnings, okay? You are embarking on an exciting Next chapter of your life. Time to create a new pad work with optimism and adventurous spirit as you muse. Okay, so this dope, this dope, this dope. This is a dope one too. So, you guys, I just want y'all to really get into y'all. I'm at a crossroads. I ain't gonna lie. I'm stuck on what to do, what I want to do. Uh, I ain't really worrying about love because I know love gonna come. So I, I'm really like just thinking on, damn, do I still want to do this? Do I, you know, like I really been wanting to like get into a whole nother feel. You hear me and still have like music on the side. I want to do that because I'm ready to make big money. Like the money I make now is like chump change. I could be way, way well off if I get into something like, you know, get my medical billing and thing that I won't do. I won't open up a business with that. It's a lot of things I won't do. But I'm going to just have faith. But I'm at a crossroads. That's crazy, huh? Maybe this message is for me. Oh, maybe this is for me. Accepting help. I do not like asking people to help me. And I be needing help. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Look. It say accepting help. It is time to allow others to help you. Be open to receive their support now, knowing you will be able to pay it forward later. This is this this maybe this reading is for me. Or it's it's for someone to ask for help when you need it. I'm not saying just because you know a person got money, because y'all got that shit bad. Just cause y'all know somebody got it, y'all just feel like y'all could just go ask people for y'all light bills or shit like that. Like people don't have their own fucking bills to be worrying about, you know. All right, so how many that we pull? We pull one, two, three, four, and this is the last card we're gonna pull. Oh, one jumped out. Oh, one jumped out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show this one because somebody might be dealing with some kind of fear. What kind of fear are you dealing with? What kind of fear are you dealing with? Something is going on. Are you, you're fearing of losing a job, or you're fearing to quit a job. You're fearing to do something, step something, step out on faith, okay? Let me read the fear card. Fear can be managed towards a fulfilling life. Others have done it. You can too. Find creative ways to manage and navigate fear as your life unfolds. Everybody going to go through that, baby. Okay, so that was one that fell out. So let me just pick one. Okay, and pick this other one moon magic this one kind of dope too let's see 
moon magic. Leverage the power of the moon to manifest your desires. Set your intentions in alignment and particular moon cycles and create magic in your life. Oh, man, I don't have to pull another card. This is so dope. This is dope. Moon magic, like, this is dope. This is about manifesting and doing what you need to do for yourself, for your life. Like, like this is real. And now I could go back to what I was talking about in my video. I have a peaceful, boring life that I love. Okay. And let me tell you why I love it. Because I'm not in no drama. I don't got to be worrying about this and that, 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 that. You heard me. I ain't worrying about no nigga cheating. I ain't worrying about none of that. I have none of that going on. The only kind of drama I got going on, unless somebody put me in it, which they not. <laughs> and it's just so, it's just peaceful. Like, I used to think getting older, like I didn't want to get older. And just getting older is like your life get better to me. That's just how I feel. Getting older to me has made my life better made me more mature, more respectable, more considerate. And 11-11 on the clock, dog. I'm telling y'all, 11-11 activate. Look, it is time to manifest your dream life by doing what you want. Get out your head with others think you should do, especially if it's not helpful. I'm talking, talking about something that is helpful towards you, okay? So... Let's get into it. I love y'all. It's your girl, Legendary Miss T. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Legendary Miss T. Like I told you guys, I am rebranding myself and put everything under one name, Legendary Miss T. Like you could get my books under Legendary Miss T. My music going to be under Legendary Miss T. I love y'all. I can't wait to do another video for y'all. And this is just a little tarot, a little something, something. If y'all want me to do more tarot, y'all want me to do more tarot, Y'all let me know in the comments. And I'm going to need y'all to subscribe to my YouTube channels so I can start doing tarot. And maybe I could get so I could get good while I'll be doing readings. <laughs> Love y'all. Happy Sunday. Enjoy y'all Sunday night. Mwah.